Welcome to Tuesday Tutorials, which is a new series that we're doing where we're going to be breaking down visual effects, but going much more in depth than we usually do. These will be more screen capture based tutorials so we can really dive into the button by button of it all. And for this first one, we're going to be taking a look at how we did this shot from our Infinity Pack promo trailer. This one was inspired by that Dr. Manhattan experiment scene from the film Watchmen, although we did want a bit more of a fluid look to ours. But now let's jump right into the effect. Firstly, shoot your actor doing their best death scream. We shot on green screen to make it easier both for adding a background of our choice, but also to apply effects solely to the actor. In After Effects, we used key light to key out the green screen and rotoed around the actor. For the background, we went with this free image on Pexels.com to give that experiment vibe. Then we changed the ceiling lights to be either side of the actor's head, altered the color slightly, added a camera lens blur, and tweaked scale and position. Alter the color of your actor until they match your background plate. We also used multiple copies of CC Light Sweep to add edge lighting to different areas of our actor. Just make sure to dial sweep intensity down down to zero so that you're only using the effect on the edge of your layer. Now for the energy, first we're going to drop in the asset from our Infinity Energy Pack. The pack has over 150 energy assets with different visual looks and styles. For the style we want for this shot, we will be using mainly energy leaks and energy bomb assets, but you can create completely different looks depending on which assets you use. First, we're going to use Energy Leak 15 and set the blending mode to screen. We're going to change the scale, position, and rotation to place over an area of your actor. Use multiple assets on each arm, the legs, head, and torso to have the energy flowing out from your actor. Then we lined up the assets in the timeline to begin appearing how we thought looked best. For the colors, we want a base of black energy with bright energy on top. So for this, duplicate the assets and hide the duplicates for now. Then pre-compose all these bottom layers together for the base energy. To make the energy black, we used Unmolt to remove the black background from the assets. Unmolt is a red giant plugin for removing black, but if you don't have that, After Effects should have its own built-in preset too. Use the invert effect to make them black. To increase the thickness, you can add a curves effect before the unmolt and boost the brightness if needed, which makes the energy more solid. For the bright energy, turn the duplicated layers back on. We deleted a couple of assets to make it more sparse in some areas, but then staggered the timings of the rest to create some delay and separation for the look that we were going for. Change the scale, rotation, and position of some assets to create more diversity if needed. We'll just hide our actor layer to see that better. Then using Video Copilot's color vibrance effect, we choose a color that we liked and then tweak some settings. You can also use a curves effect first, and if you tweak the contrast, you can have just the denser areas visible. Then we're going to copy paste these to each asset and tweak individually to your liking. Now it should look something like this. Halfway through, we want to create a mask on our actor layer and animate it to expand as the energy does until you can no longer see the actor. We also animated the color of the actor layer to change and added a turbulent displace, turbulent displace, turbulent displace with animated amount and size to create some displacement. We added an adjustment layer above the actor with Red Giant's chromatic displacement effect and used the pre-comped black energy as a displacement map and duplicated it for a more detailed displacement on top. This almost makes it look as though the energy is inflating and tearing the actor open as it bursts from within. Next, we add a few instances of Red Giant's optical glow. This is our favorite glow plugin because it allows you to retain highlights and control the glow saturation as well as giving a professional look. We also use Magic Bullet looks for subtle anamorphic flares. And of course, as we've said a ton of times on the show, we can't suggest Red Giant's products enough. Check the notes below. We'll have some links for the ones that we used in this tutorial and just for all of their good Finally, some lens effects and contrast, and we're done. One energy death. And like I said, this is a new series that we're going to be doing more often, so a lot more to come. So keep an eye on the channel, subscribe, hit the bell button so you can make sure you're updated on all the stuff we do. And until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.